Well, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning and I'm out on the deck early. <laughs> it's about seven and the sun is just coming up. And there's something about the, uh, <laughs> the sunrises and sunsets on the sea. So magical. They just transform every two seconds. The clouds take a different formation. The light changes, shifts, goes underneath the clouds and glows. It's, it's just beautiful. But I just wanted to just say hi to everybody. And my trip to Barcelona yesterday was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. Um, I, you know, I really love Spain, and I've been to Barcelona many times. But yesterday it was raining. Of course, that's never a problem for me. But there was something about the place that didn't enchant me in the same way. And there were a lot of people. It was a national day, um, the like holiday, so there was a lot of demonstration and also lots of people on the streets. And I just felt like I couldn't take any pictures. I just I just couldn't take any photos. I, um, the, the Sagrada Familia Church, the Gaudi Church, was enchanting, beautiful, mysterious, uh, eccentric, <laughs> really, really quirky. And I took some pictures of that, which I'll, I'll include. But um, the rest of the of the day was looking at buildings and doors and crowds of people. But um, anyway, Barcelona has its own charm. And I met with a friend of mine, Ray, who I'd known back in my Seattle days. And he and I had a, a good, great working relationship. We did some amazing creative projects together. He had a company that um, we used at Microsoft and uh, yeah, he was just magical, and we, we got together yesterday and had lunch, and it was just wonderful to see him. And we shared just the last 20 years that we haven't seen one another, and what's happened, and how things have evolved, and how things have changed, and how we've changed. And he was just pivotal in my life in so many ways. He gave me some great advice at, when I got divorced, and I'll always remember him for that, and uh, thanked him yesterday for it again. <laughs> and he shared with me some things too. So. It was really precious, and then I dashed back to the um, to the place where the bus was waiting for us to take us to the ship, <clears throat> and um, I got back in like two hours it took, but it was good. I ch chatted with lots of people, and as you say, you're never alone on these cruises, even if you're solo. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. This is a really interesting fact. I there's about five thousand people on this cruise, five thousand passengers, <laughs> two thousand uh, crew. So it's quite a, it's, you know, it's full and it's very busy. But I've always found places to, to be quiet. Like this morning, there's no one on the deck with me. And uh, it's really lovely. But anyway, I, I asked the uh, guest services how many people were on the ship that were solo, were traveling single, like in a single room, like me. And a um, lady called Serena, she was so sweet. She did some research and found that of the 5,000 people who were on this ship, only 81... <laughs> 81, 81 are like me just by myself which I thought was incredible and so I haven't seen the other 80 yet but I'm sure they're around lurking but yeah lots of people mostly twos two in a room two in a cabin three in a cabin four or five families and it's that kind of ship and MSC is that kind of line accommodates all all people all, all kinds lots of Europeans here many um, Italian uh, and there's a lot of um, French and uh, German, <laughs> not so many English. It's you know I mean I do hear English a lot and everyone speaks a little, um, but it's really uniquely European the MSC Cruise Line. I have loved the food. I just had my breakfast. I just I have enjoyed the people. The uh, staff are great. So yeah, I would recommend MSC. It's affordable, very affordable, and um, it gives you these moments of solitude, which I appreciate. And here I am on the deck. After my Barcelona day, we're going into Cannes today. And Cannes is in France, of course, and near Nice, where I've been. But uh, Cannes is going to be new to me. Sunday, so everything's shut. Oh, I think it's starting to rain. And uh, yeah, Sunday is a quiet day, but we're going into town. I think we're going to San Rafael as well. Uh, so that, and it's a tender port. So that means we get on a small ship that takes us from the this large um, ship to the shore. Uh, so it's a small town and I'm going to enjoy the day. But I hope that you enjoyed the journey so far with me. We've got one more day, then I'm back to Genoa tomorrow, train home to Zug and looking forward to seeing the family. Really miss my grandkids and we've kept in touch, of course, along the way, but it's not the same. Anyway, thanks for being here with me on the journey. I really, truly appreciate it, everybody. You've given me great comments, great feedback. I love you all to bits. Take care.
Oh, here's some pictures from Barcelona. I'll give you those pictures of the church and a few others. And then on to Cam.